Hello guys, this is Proud Pidge Zalt here and welcome to another part of Let's Play Minecraft. I think this is part five. Um Yes it will be. And I've just made a chest here. And I'm going to have the two furnaces I brought with me. There's a cave here. So we're going to explore it. But first I'm putting some of our resources, that's what I was looking for. And there, I should need to take that half sword away. Yeah. And I'll put half my food in as well, just. Oh. Yeah. So, obviously, we're going to explore a cave. He's, I've watched it a few times. So, oh, maybe five, four or five times. We need to watch out for holes like that. There's always going to be monsters about. I haven't explored. I explored a couple of caves earlier on off camera. That was for some coal to go up levels. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you this episode. Depends how long the cave is. But I've done quite a bit off camera. I've finished my enchantment room. I've got a lot. I've got cows and chickens, I don't know whether I had them in the last episode, it's been a few days from film I recorded. Um, I've got sheep, I know for a fact that's different. And then what else have I done? I don't think I've leveled out anymore, I've just been collecting resources. I did collect a lot of iron, but I died and fell into lava and lost it all, so... This is a weird wee bit, just a wee tiny open bit, so I need to be careful here. As always, don't dig straight down, just in case. Because you never know you can fall down into lava or just fall into a great big hole. Never dig straight up, it could be lava above you, gravel, sand, it's affected by gravity, they could come down and suffocate you. Um, now if you're enjoying these videos, please don't hesitate to hit that like button, or comments. There, as I suspected. Now, we'll go to the left for some reason, if I've got a choice, I always like to go left. Unless it's up or down, up or down, always go up. Because if you go up, nothing can fall down on you. If you go down, you never know what could be up above you that could fall down. Dead end, that's a good start. So, collect the iron that I see here. Now, I recommend I don't always do it. I'm trying to do it as much as I can in this playthrough. Well, this let's play. Placing all the torches to the right or to the left in the walls. Look, if I'm going up there, look, that's me. Coming home. They're to the left of me, so I know what, whether I'm getting deeper into the cave or whether I'm returning. Sometimes with big rooms you can't do that as such, but... Now I can hear a zombie. Can't see him though. So I don't know if it's, whether it's good or bad. Two ways, let's go this way. There's a bat, I don't know why bats are there. I really couldn't tell you. If any of you know, please tell me. Oh, there's a zombie there. And because I've done a lot off camera, it seems ages we have recorded, it seems like I've done a lot, which I've just done a lot of levelling out, nothing of importance. Well, that's another dead end, so that's, that's quite a dead end, but rich and cool, which gets me up levels. I've got my diamond pickaxe not with me, because once I get to level 30, I can enchant it with, and hopefully get fortune. So once I get to level 30 I'll probably 
Head out the cave. Make my way home. And then enchant it and then bring it down with me if it gets fortune. Because then I can get double, triple, maybe even quadruple. Coal, diamond, lapis lazuli, redstone. Pair block. That's why if I see diamonds I won't dig them out just now. I will just leave them. But we're only at floor, we're at floor 63. We've no chance of finding diamonds here. More coal. Which coal have we got? We've got a, st over a stack and a half. So it's all coming out here. Even more coal. F fantastic. Oh. Oh, safe to say I'll never run out of coal. Now a lot of people don't leave coal line and they collect it their way out. I collect it just now because quite often there's some nice things behind coal. A lot of times there's been, well a the time when I was playing it, multiplayer with my friend online not that long ago, I was digging coal and there was eight blocks of diamond. And that's what it was, I'll go down that hole later, I'll go to the, oh it's night time. Down here, I'll now I actually think, yep, this is below. I can hear a skeleton, but it's another dead end. This was a great cave to explore. Once again, not a very good cave to explore on camera, but you never know. I found a good cave off camera, but. I've only explored half of it because it was strip mining, which I will be able to show you that soon because after, once it's daytime, we'll be going out back home. Nearly level 30, which is really good. And if I don't get fortune with my pickaxe, I'll be disappointed. Iron. I've got a couple of stacks of iron in the chest. I've got some gold. Oh, the other further. Right. Now I'm gonna dig that away just because sometimes dirt and gravel have the openings into other parts of the cave. And it's night time so I don't want I'm not wanting to go out and Risking it against all the mobs in case I die. I'm going to be feeling extra safe just now because I'm such a high level. You don't need to dig all of that away if you just dig some of it away. You'll, you'll be able to roughly figure out whether you think there's anything there or not. I always not. I normally dig in. Yeah, I can use it up. It's the best way. Look, there's nothing there. Oh, uh, this is an old bat over here. Killing that bat did nothing for me. Just. Doesn't even give you experience, I don't really see the point in them there, but okay. Doesn't look like there's anything behind this gravel either. This is really a bad cave. Well, at least I got some coal, I suppose. And then I said to be able to do everything that I've done off camera, so at least we're not wasting an episode. There's 
absolutely nothing. Fact to check here, because what floor are we here? 52. There's some iron. I'll get that. I really should bring a watch, a uh, clock down with me, so I know whether it's daytime or nighttime when I'm caving. I do that, I would normally do that. I just haven't really got round to doing it here in this one. I'll check the other that. Yeah. Don't think there's anything here either. And in order to get to finish my enchantment room I had to breed a lot of cows and kill a lot of them. So I've got a lot of steaks. I've got 30 on me, I've got about another 30 in the chest that I brought with me here. And I must have about, I think I've got about a stack. Maybe even more. At home. Now is it data yet? Nope, but there's a skeleton. I've got a couple of spare diamonds, maybe I should have made myself a diamond sword to combat, to com no, to fight, or to combat against the mobs. Uh, well, I've got some coal, so I may as well put it in there and get the iron furnace in. Start to get lighter. That's not another bit of the cave, that's just a tiny wee bit out. So, just in case you wondered if I had to explore a certain bit. Before I came in to start recording, I made sure it was an actual cave and not just a kind of a wee hole in the ground, because there's a few of them. I did see a really good, well, what looked like a really good cave earlier, but I don't remember where it is. So get it out there. Then I'll just take it with me and we'll run for our lives. There might still be some monster spawned. There's a creeper up there. I don't know exactly where I'm going to get home, but I know roughly. So, at least I know roughly I've got enough wood to make a boat just in case I need to get over the water quicker because I had to come over the water to get here. Not that far over the water, it's just over the water where my wheat farm was, which I've expanded a little bit. I've still, still got my automatic wood, but I use both because I was really need, I was really need a lot of wheat for my cows. Just over this way. A lot of sheep here. I I got a couple over to. I haven't really sorted it out into a pen yet, but it's where I dug a lot of sand. I've just put sheep in there with some grass at the bottom of it for them to eat. Uh, there's my boat there waiting on me. Yeah. So it's not that far, but the boat's always quicker. And if you run into the side, like the bank here with the boat, then, well if you run out with some speed anyway, then it will sometimes break. There's the wheat farm, I don't need any more sugar canes, but may as well just keep them growing there just in case. Yeah. There's my cows, I've got chickens, cows and chickens all over the place here. My enchantment room's finished. This is my furnace room, I had to think there what it was. 
I'll just get rid of some of the coal there for it. Oh. Um, I'll go show you my sheep. Oh yes, I'd built that bit. Right. Um, there's my sheep there. I'm gonna start breeding them because I like wool for paintings. And if I want anything nice, I could just have coloured wool. And my automatic weight five here, I hope it's gonna... Oh, that's over there already. But about the building round. You don't need to have glass here, but... If you've got glass, then if you if you cover it up with just wood like what I had done at first, then it doesn't grow as quick as what it would with glass. I've done a few farming, I've got a lot of wheat and seeds. And the lever is in here. I'll end up changing it so that the lever actually goes through the wall there. But I haven't done that yet. Uh, I haven't explored much, I've cleared away some more of the trees here. Just to for something that I could build. I'm still not sure what to build. Part 4 has only been up a couple of days. Not get many comments. Not get, I think don't have any comments on it yet, mind you. But I'm hoping to get some feedback. Get rid of all the stuff I don't need. There's my... I've got over two stack of steak. I've got some cooked chickens, eggs, wheat, seeds, bread. And now I'll take you to the other cave that I was talking about just until I get to level 30. Then I'll come back. It's not that far away. I've leveled out this a wee bit just so it's easier to come down. Nothing major done there. I don't know why, but I seem to dig into the side this time here. It's not looking that nice. Just a straight way down. Haven't done anything in the other cave that we were in not that long ago. It's just still the same, I don't think I've actually been in it at all. A wee bit of obsidian there, we don't need. That's what I could do for the next episode, I could take these into the nether world. I was planning to do it, I was planning to do it a lot sooner than what we did, but I didn't want to because in case I died because I'm quite high level. Now there's normally mobs around here. So uh, there's a bit I haven't even explored. Dead end, that's always good. I always stay my sword in here because even though I've explored a lot of it, as you, you can hear them as well. You can hear them, you can't see them, but mobs. Oh. And now they always fall down there. Like that. So if I go round, hopefully I'll be able to find out where they're coming from. I don't know whether it's a spawner or not. Up here. But don't see this. Oh, I must have explored this bit a wee bit, so... Ah, yes, it was a canyon. So, I've got gravel. I've only got... Well, I may as well use the gravel. And I heard that creeper sizzle. So I just managed to jump and I would probably went in that lava there. Now, I think I'm gonna die. Or at least, I'm gonna get hot. to find out where that creeper came from because I can't have creepers coming up behind me 
F of try to record well no obviously I'm trying to record because those can't go up ahead but if I'm trying to um, go into a cave to get levels I can't have creepers coming up ahead me just blowing me to smithereens now my bucket of water could be tied to here but I could use my iron pickaxe and get this redstone for some experience I hear a spider, I don't know where I'm from though. I can hear it walking about. Just upside down here. I'll just pull that off, I'll move to the risks. Get this coal, get level 30, get out of here. Was my plan, but it wasn't enough. Spiders must be dropped down from there. So we'll need to go and check that out. If I don't get to level 30 with this coal, then we'll need to find a way to get up there. And for some reason, I just knew that we did. I think this is an out there, dude. Oh, can you ask me how to take this? Gravel. Closer to finding out where they're actually. Ah, uh, right, that'll be how. But they're all bit. I'm sure they were jumping down from where the aisle was. that spider that we could constantly here and if we get some cobblestone here and there's a skeleton so normally if a skeleton do it well this is what I found most effective if you have the corner then they can't shoot you from afar they need to go around the corner Spot over there. Now we're level 30, so as I said, we would do. We're getting our butts out of here. I'm going to eat some steak to heal first. Onto my torch, at least I know the way out. 
you hear some spiders again, so I still not any clearer on where they're actually coming from, but it looks like I found a skeleton spawner there. And this is us whole three. Now that's us basically just about finished the episode. So I don't think we'll do anything off camera. But I know it's it can be quite tricky to get a level thirty enchantment. You need to click it a few times, so basically to start the next episode I'll be at a level thirty enchantment for my diamond pickaxe, hopefully. And it's night time. So I'm just gonna Oh uh, the creeper's following me. I'll kill the creeper then I'll end the episode. Well, thanks for watching. To the